let's start creating our first website so click new in figma to create a new document and then click on this frame icon choose macbook pro or desktop i will choose macbook pro and let's add some grids to it click on this name or click on this frame icon and then on the right panel click plus on layout grid we've got these squares of 10 pixels click on the layout grid grid icon and then choose columns give it like 12 columns margins on the sides like uh, 20 pixels I'll make it 60 pixels and total of 20 pixels okay there is one more thing that I would like to show you so let's say we have this width of 100 and uh, 1441 440 pixels we want our container to be limited to like 1170 so for that we will simply go to calculator and add 1440 minus 1170 so this is the value that is remaining from this entire canvas and we will divide it by 2 so 135 on each side which means we will give margin 135 on each side and now we have 1170 pixels container Just keep it here give it a height of uh, 800 probably I make it 600 something like this we need to add a logo but let's give it a name hero image let's add a logo call it happy holidays font is roboto you can change to your project requirement I will choose Montserrat and bold and the font size will be 30 pixels. Let's center it, uh, left align it. Alright, and let's add a menu to create a navigation bar I will simply copy this reduce the font size to 20 pixels font weight to medium and I will say about and I will copy another one and see this now has a space of 20 pixels in between I will call it test deletions and now I will simply select these two elements and then hit Control G or Command G rename it to main navigation and then if you see on the right right hand side panel it says auto layout or you can press shift plus A so let's click on auto layout now you see we have some options it's just basically creating it as a flex box so we can change its direction to vertical or horizontal we can remove or uh, increase or decrease the space between the elements so i will keep it 20 and we can give some padding and this padding works same as we do in css so let's say uh, 10 pixels on top and 20 pixels uh, on the sides or we can control individual uh, padding uh, values from here 
alright and for now I will simply set it to 0 alright now why I did this is because now if I select this any any um, item in the auto layout and press Control V or Command D on my keyboard you see it gives me another instance uh, a duplicate and it has same 20 pixels space between and it will fit in the layout so let's call it increase and another one I will do with contact now we will simply select everything and align it together now I will add some margins or rulers here so that I can close the grid icon perfect now let's change its color Since it is like uh, okay, working for some destinations or something, so we can simply click individual items and select them. Happy holidays! To add an image in this hero section, we will go to Excel.com and we will say Berlin. Let's go to Berlin. We can change orientation and choose a good looking image. Shall we try with this? Uh, let's try. Let's copy this. Copy image. Right click. Copy image. And click on this rectangle. Let's make it full width for now because the image should cover everything I want. And click on it. Figma will automatically place this image in the square and you can choose how you want it to look like uh, you can control few things from here as well alright let's open it a bit alright now we will add text and we will call it travel Berlin like never before change its font to white Berlin and font trouble it's going to be our H1 so let's make it bold enough readable enough now there are a few things that I can do like giving a shadow let's make it 35% and blur it down to add or we can or we can add some gradient behind this text how to do that let's create let's make it round Put it behind 
the text and if you don't fill then solid ticket linear radial and then simply add some color to it already this we can also change its landing mode some intensity okay and now let's add a button To create a button, we will select rectangle, make it like 230 by 60 pixels, some rounded corners, 55 pixels would be enough. Yes, seems good. Or let's make it round. Okay, let's make it round and give it a text of explore white border and width 20 pixels let's align it to the middle of the button now i will take this out from the artboard and make it as component so now I will make this an idea change it to an uh, I and now I will change it to auto layout and then we will click this icon to create it a component and we can use its instance anywhere on our website the reason I converted it into a component is because let's say we want to add an icon so let's see this is what we want to add here we created this small arrow stroke with fire it's a bit longer make it a bit smaller okay now I want to put this icon in my button so this auto layout you see it gives me a blue line where it tells me that the arrow will be placed here now you see the alignment and everything to fix this remember we have this option we can simply center it and if you want to add more space in between the items we can always use this and no matter what the what content we have the button will always expand according to that all right now if you want to reduce the space in between click on this parent then padding and we can say 40 by 40 now the space is reduced i will simply 
press Ctrl D to duplicate selection and put it here. Now this is a component. I can change the background from here and it will reflect on every instance that we will have anywhere on our website. So you see it works like this but if we keep it like this and change the background of our instance only will not affect our actual component all right okay so let's pick the color from here orange Alright, change the color of our logo as well. So, this is our header and hero section. Select the hero section, name it hero section and call it header. Select the positions, name it properly. Hero hero. Now we need some path. Alright, so now we will create the other areas of our web page and for this bottom part I would like to add something. So let's create something like this. Make it 100,000. 250 rounded corners 20 and white give it drop shadow effect make it 20 and let's make it 60 and make it 15 all right and let's add a title hey Destination instead of old, keep it regular. Change the font color. I'll show you. I'll show you in a quick In Figma, let's select this. We have this color. Click on these four icons and add. A plus and call it light blue or let's call it blue and this style is created so I can simply click any element I want to change its color click on the four icons and click on blue
let's add another field and keep it 20 for default font size align it and let's add an arrow here Press K to, to select the scale tool and then reduce its size. Alright. Control 0 to zoom out 200%. Let's make it more lighter in tone destination. Right and then I will select all these group them destination group and duplicate this to get another one by 40 pixels so we will call it date all right we move this uh, this journey and call it date group and let's oh I can get the journey and let's call it zero nine August twenty one. And you you can have any kind of uh, calendar in that formatting as you like. And let's see persons it's like how many person two and there is one more thing we need to do select all this Okay, go in there, select these elements, let's 
click on auto width auto width and now let's add our button here so let's choose this reduce its size as well not like this but with the scale tool and call it spoke now all right color of this will be same as the first button select all of these So let's make keep it 36. Select center align and choose the color. Same blue color. Now we will create our cards. 250 by 300. 50 by 300 instead of doing doing this uh, like manually we will select our MacBook Pro artboard or whatever name you have given then get our grids back and then we can see that we have our grid and we can align accordingly so 377 then I will make it around 450 and then we can change it as per our requirement so we can have three in a row okay I'll delete this I'll turn off the grids as well let's search for San Francisco this copy now we, we will not paste it in this because then it will take this square and place the picture so I will duplicate this square move it up a bit like 320 and then post uh, paste my image turn this into a lighter tone so that I can see where my boxes 
give it some details to make it still box go with this square and make it white add text San Francisco text is smaller make it central line like everything central line with each other reduced padding a bit and yes change its font to medium then the color and let's add one more box a bit smaller than this one align it and give it the color of blue and say starting from city or the door make it 20 then make it regular okay and now we will add our button here as well we can create variations of this button That's for another video. Okay. Select this background and change its color to this orange and explore. Now I can make this box pure white. And give it a drop shadow effect, same as 20 pixels, and then 15 pixels. Select everything of this group, group it, call it your card. And now we can simply duplicate it. We can make it as, as a component as well. Now duplicate this by pressing Alt and dragging. We can change. everything in this and we will call it New York Let's copy this copy image 
and replace this and and let's go to Los Angeles as well simply duplicate our card for as many times as we want to cards group and change the values And call it B or oh, let's Y plus make it thirty six pixels and hold add some more lines. Copy this instead of this, let's delete this and copy only like these and This is the make it twenty pixels on regular, and then we can just click, uh, make them, put them in one line, and open this type details and set it as on order list.
equal line height to 30. All right. Mm. And we can add an image here. I had this uh, this airplane image. I cut it off and uh, I made this background uh, a pattern and I put it here. Then. Then I increase the height of this blue background and now we will add some text on it as well. So let's add this small text. This is not a bullet. So let's start and then we can jump it to upper height and let's bring in our And we can call it explore our packages. All right, you see how our button retains its uh, padding around the text and icon and instead of having a background on it i will make it transparent and give it a stroke of one pixel and white Alrighty. And now what we can do, we can create our footer. So let's bring our top navigation to the bottom. Happy holidays and add some details small paragraph like uh, an introduction about your company underneath it let's call it photo first with to top and add a text here change it's I'm changing it to box because of uh, because I want it to be a fixed size copy select as regular 20 pixel font and press auto hide unlink the color and choose the body color body color this and I will also copy duplicate this put it here copyright 2021 happy holidays auto uh, auto width and then central line let's give it a small horizon select copyright and make the text go now let's darken it a bit yes so I will select my layout and we can see what we have built If you like my design and my work and you would like to encourage me to make more videos and improve myself along with yourself 
then please consider subscribing my channel liking my video and sharing it with your friends and family and in your circle so that we all can improve together see you in the next video and also please i would love to know if you would like to see me doing other pages of this uh, website so that we can build a complete travel agency website